Hey, Raptor family. I know that the Raptor sisters have been kind of absent the past couple of weeks. So I'm gonna show you what we have been up to today. We have been expanding and converting our home so that we can have more reptiles. Thank you very much, Raptor family. We appreciate your support. I have redone and reorganized our reptile room because we are constantly expanding and growing and we have different reptile needs when we do these things. So, I have rearranged. That is our feeder tank. We fill that with crickets and let them go crazy. I have just reorganized, made more space. Trying to get everything together and done and neat and looking good in here. Here's our desk. Oh, and let me just say, if you don't have a cameraman, just make one. This is mine. It's my stool and my tablet stand connected to it. Can't forget our beta fish who is about to get a good clean out. Where are you, Ace? Oh, where is he? Oh, he's right there. Hi, Ace. Our incubator who's doing her weights. Some more reptiles. Those are extra reptile supplies. Reptiles. We've blocked him off from seeing other beauties, which is why he's there, and that is here, because he can't see any other beauty dragons that way, because he's a male, and he likes to get all aggressive and crazy. These are gecko bins. These are for adult geckos. And look at our pebbles, just enjoying she loves her mama ever since she got it. And can you guess what we are growing in here? Let's see. We're breeding those now. Just as feeder for our, our own animals. I don't think we'll be selling them. But it'll be a lot easier to and cheaper to feed them that way. So this is only our garage and downstairs reptiles that uh, need low humidity. As you can see, we have our humidifier running at all times. Um, upstairs is all of our reptiles, like our amphibians. So we have our Pac-Man frog, our chameleon, and our ball pythons who can't be in the you know, lower humidity area. So these are just beardies and leopard geckos and our lonely skink who is going to be getting a couple friends soon. Look at it sleeping. Oops, sorry but I didn't mean to like you. Yeah. We will do an individual animal tour very soon. But for now this is just what we've got. Leopard geckos and beardies are growing. We're getting bigger and bigger by the week. This is our living room closet. But can you guess what we have in here? That's right, it's our feeder bugs. So, these two big bins are the gray and black are our big mealworm colonies. These are the beetles. This is the where the eggs are. We separate the little small microscopic babies out of and then when they grow a little more we put them in there so they don't get cannibalized. That's some more of that. These are calcium worms, wax worms, horn worms, and crickets. Now these are all of our feeder bugs that cannot be in too high of heat where they either will die off quicker or just won't thrive. And as you can see, we like to 
breed our feeders so that way we don't have to spend so much money uh, and just trust me it saves us a significant amount of money currently we have over 250 crickets of this alone and as you can hear them they're doing great and those hornworms we just bought to um you know turn into moss and breed as well with the rest of them that we have going in there our dubia roach colony is in the garage because it needs to be in the tropical weather this is just extra stuff for you know um, our colonies egg crates all of that and then in the back we have our dog stuff so pea patch treats soft dog food hard dog food but yeah, so that's where our colonies are right in our living room we also started breeding mice which this is my bedroom closet we are not breeding on a large scale we just have two males and four females and they're doing great there's some of their food and stuff um we have an extra one set up and ready for when the pinkies are born so we can separate them and then we will mainly euthanize the pinkies because that's why we started breeding for the frozen thawed pinkies. Um, I think we're going to be doing the gassing, the CO2, which we already ordered. It's not reptile related, but it is another way that I have converted our home for our animals. Now this is for two of our puppies, Batman and Spidey, and they pretty much have their own little converted bedroom and cage. So up top we have pea pads, leashes, and then we just invested in electric gates because, long story, we'll get into that in another time. So this is their cage. They have a memory foam bed. It's like a mattress with blankies. All of their toys, and yes, I'm gonna go in the cage. I gave them one of my son's old shoes because they like to chew on them. They have their water and their food dishes. Another food dish, their pee pad that they tore up, I have to fix and some more toys. So they go in here at night and then when we're gone and then I'm also crate training them. So they come in for about 30 minutes after they go outside because puppies have the tendency to go potty when they come inside. Um, so what I did is I took the two double door gate and I have sliding doors. Uh, they have an issue with climbing, which is why we need an electric fence because they can climb out our regular gate. So I took my daughter's old crib, took it apart, and secured this up top so that way they can't get out. And then the gate just acts as the rest of the door. When I want to lock them in, I just close the door that the baby's playing with. And bow, we have the puppy's bedroom, which is also in my room. So both of my closets, as you can see, are being used by my pets, which even though we are breeding them for their babies, I did consider my mice pets and we do handle them and play with them. And this is our last and final way that we've converted part of our house for our reptiles. Now these are our Pac-Man frogs. And they are in my son's room. He is into reptiles, he's 15 as we are, so he has agreed to let us expand for the ones who need higher humidity. Here's the snake rack in his room. It actually used to be for his toys, but we just converted it into the snake rack to hold the tubs. And then if you continue on, here is the chameleon. So they're all in the same area, so we can take care of the animals with the higher humidity a lot easier. We have our misting bottle that we miss the Pac-Man frogs and the chameleon daily. And as you can see, this light, we, he got really creative and hung it with zip ties to his bar. So that way he has a daylight and then a blue nightlight for his chameleon, well, our chameleon. And then we have a garbage bag hanging there for when we change out the snakes and closers or anything like that. Down below, there was tweezers and extra stuff that my daughter just tore up. And we plan on adding another snake here. This is what we feed our Pac-Man frog in right here. 
every two to three days. We put them in here with the dust of bugs and they do great. And right now they're burrowed. Uh, can you see one? Oh, there he is. These are live plants. So yeah, sometimes it's not the prettiest. Like we have one of the heat lights hanging off of a regular lamp. It's not the prettiest, but it is very functioning. So we get everything done and our animals are taken care of very properly. So it's just one of the small sacrifices we have made to have the amount of reptiles that we have. Thank you for joining the Repta Sisters in the chaos of our Repta family. Like, subscribe, and comment to show your support. And as always, we are going to continue to grow and bring you guys along on the journey. We will no longer be taking breaks like we did the last time. Our family had just gone through a lot. We appreciate you guys understanding and being here with us.